Many pre-med students wonder if they should complete their bachelor's degree at a university that already has a medical school established within it because they have this false sense of belief that there's an advantage to attending McGill University, for example, if you want to go to McGill Medical School. But in reality, this is not the case, not for McGill or other Canadian universities or other American universities. So let's talk about the truths and myths behind attending a school that already has an established medical school within it. Hello friends, welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new, hi, my name's Emmanuel. I'm a first year medical student at McGill University in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And I know I'm a day early, but tomorrow is Valentine's Day. So I wanna wish everyone a very happy Valentine's Day. If you're writing exams, which most people are unfortunately, um, good luck, you got this. And uh, in the essence of Valentine's Day, I encourage you all to spread love to uh, this channel, this video. If you haven't liked or subscribed, uh, I encourage you to do so. So let's get into today's video. All right, so let's start with McGill University. What are the advantages of attending McGill University in your bachelor's degree? Well, there are a multitude of research opportunities at McGill. There are so many different supervisors doing so many different research projects, especially in the medical field, that you could get involved with uh, and get your name on publications during your bachelor's degree, which is amazing. On top of that, McGill has pre-med clubs and medical students that you can network with and uh, learn more about the program, more about the application process, and so on and so forth. So in that sense, you have an advantage. But the reality is that... Um, of course, there's a car passing by right now as I'm trying to record a YouTube video. Thank you very much, car. But the reality is that um, I lost my train of thought. But the reality is that there is no numerical advantage to completing your bachelor's degree at McGill University prior to attending uni um, medical school. Sorry, at McGill University. However, this is not the case for other universities in the province of Quebec which we'll get into soon. But before I do that, you might be asking, okay, well, why did you go to Concordia? Concordia doesn't even have a medical school. You don't have these networking opportunities and these research opportunities. You might be right about the networking opportunities and the lack of, I would say, pre-med clubs and pre-med mentors more so than clubs, but there are research opportunities and in fact, uh, one of the reasons I went to Concordia was because of a specific type of research opportunity in the form of my minor in multidisciplinary studies and sciences, also known as the Science College. I encourage you all to look into the program, link in the description below, or ask me any questions about it. I'd be happy to answer. But I just wanted to say that I think the Science College is an excellent program. And I'm not just saying this because I attended the Science College, but I think our statistics show it. Um, I don't have numbers per se, but I can say that most of the science college students that I know, I would say eight out of 10 students that apply to McGill Medical School eventually got in. And if you compare that to the average acceptance rate um, with respect to the total population that applies to McGill as a Quebec resident, let's say each year, well, that's significantly higher. So let's move on to Quebec City where we have Université Laval. So over there they have a different system. They have a scoring system where they take your GPA on 4.3 um, or convert it to 4.3 um, and they also look at the program that you're enrolled in and then they calculate this R score. Okay. Um, and basically the program that you're enrolled in will greatly affect your R score. I, I was in biology and biology is not too highly ranked. I would have had to have a perfect GPA, which I did not to meet, you know, that minimum requirement, that, that minimum cutoff for medical school. Whereas someone who was in pharmacy or dentistry or law would, you know, um, have a much higher score for that exact same GPA that I had. So, you know, I find that system a little unjust because What's to say that uh, someone who's completing English literature, for example, should have a higher score than someone who's doing biology when they want to apply to medical school? And that's actually the case if you look at the PDF. Um, so, yeah, 
that's what happens at Université Laval. And from what I understand, the other French universities also follow a similar grading scheme, but the other French universities are a little biased towards their own students. What am I talking about? Well, at Université de Montréal, of course, on the island of Montreal, they give a 0.5 R score boost to their own students. And if you have a master's, you get an extra point. And if you have a PhD, an extra point on top of that. So you can accumulate 2.5 extra R score points for being for completing a PhD, let's say at Université de Montréal and then applying to medical school. And I know that's a lot of schooling, but it's just to give an example. And the same applies to Université uh, de Sherbrooke, which is, of course, in Sherbrooke. Um, uh, from what I understand, they recently incorporated this um, bonus to their own students where they add a 0.75 R score to uh, Université de Sherbrooke students. So that's something to consider for the French universities. But of course, if you're proficient in, in French uh, or you're, you're francophone, then I highly encourage you to attend those universities because you will have an advantage. And you know whether you attended McGill or Concordia or UDAM and you're applying to McGill, well, that doesn't make a difference. But if you attend Université de Montréal, let's say, and then you apply to Université de Montréal, well, you have a bonus. Or you apply to Université de Sherbrooke, you have a bonus for that. So. Um, I encourage you to take a look uh, at uh, Université de Laval's uh, PDF with all the different programs and look at the programs you might be interested in applying to or what program you're currently enrolled in and see how they rank, um, how, like what score they associate your GPA with. And that could give you a good idea of what your calculated R score will be. And then of course, by comparing that to the minimum cutoff scores, you can determine if it's even worthwhile applying to those programs. All of this to say that it doesn't matter what university you apply to. I mean, there is a small exception to this rule as we, as we saw, but what's important is that you attend a university where you are comfortable, where you know that you will excel and you enjoy that environment, okay? Um, I can't stress this enough. I think one of the reasons why I did so well at Concordia University is because I loved the environment that I was in. I loved the people uh, in my program and of course my supervisors and I'm extremely grateful. And you know, that's one of the reasons why I am where I am today. And uh, you know, the same could be applied to you. So make sure that whatever university you go to is the university that you know you're gonna excel in because you want to get those top grades so that you could get into medical school. And as always, thank you all for watching this video and for supporting the channel. And of course, I'll catch you in the next one.